special guest today, Jonathan Elias with PRP. He, what, you bring in what, Hypertune stuff? Hypertune, Nitto, Haltech here and there. Haltech. Haltech? Yep. Haltech? Haltech. 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 Okay. So, um, he's brought us gifts. Well, we've paid for them, or we're going to have to pay for them. But anyway, this is all for Brad's build. This is the, the SEMA build, and we're going to be at PRI as well. Yep. So, look for us. We'll have this car that we're building in a booth with PRP at PRI, which is 2020 Performance Racing Industry. Yep. Industry, and it's in Indianapolis. Indianapolis. Around Do you know where? December 5th or 6th. Is it like this Indianapolis Civic Cin Center? Uh, one of those names. Yeah. Okay. I can't remember. All right. Yeah, one of those places. We'll put it on there more, but we want people in that area to come see us for sure, definitely. Yeah. So we've got uh, a lot of goodies. Probably the, the best is the Nitto Stroker Kit, okay? Which is probably in that box. Well, at least the crank it's is. in several here. Oh, okay. We've got the crank in here, and then we've got rods and pistons. And oil pump as well. And a Nitto oil pump, which is definitely needed when you're going high horsepower in an RV. Um, and then, so this is pistons, oil pump, rods, crank, okay? So it's going in RB30, and it's gonna be RB3.2, basically. So it's gonna be a 3.2 stroker. What we got here, we've got we the- got rips, sump, rips, extended sump. And that's basically what you do, is weld this on. Yep. And then it has this, Put a pickup splash guard or whatever so that the oil is where it needs to be for the pickup right here. All sorts of nice the baffles. Kinsler mechanical fuel pump. Mechanical fuel pump. And this is the 500. Yep. And that doesn't necessarily have anything to do with how much fuel it will flow. Because what does this flow? I believe this one flows, was it five gallons per minute? The Kinsler 700 is seven gallons per minute. This one should be, I believe, five gallons at uh, 4,000 RPM. But okay. don't quote me on that. Okay, all right. But plenty of fuel. This is what you have on your car. I right? run a 700 series, yep. 700. A little bit, little bit little little bigger. bigger. But we're going for about 900 wheel horsepower with this build. Uh, Jonathan is at 1,400. Correct. Uh, maybe more. Hopefully, we'll see. <laughs> okay. We'll see where we push it to. But when you're going high horsepower, you want to do a mechanical pump because with the electrical and everything, the system with uh, electric pumps, it starts pushing the limits of what you can do. They can fail, and if one of them fails, everything can just go. Right. Kablooey. Yeah. Kablooey. Yeah. That's the technical term. The technical term. term is kablungo. I oh, okay. All right. So this right here is for the cast. Yep. And this is the uh, for this mechanical fuel bracket. Yeah, this is for the fuel pump right here, which will go here. Yep. Okay, and it's driven off of the cam. And then a separate cam trigger. This is the cam trigger for the cam sensor. Okay. And then we were just watching uh, Herman from PRP. Uh, we were watching a video actually yesterday at lunch about this situation and why this is needed uh, with the oscillation of the cam at high RPMs and everything so that doesn't give you a good signal. This takes care of that. This will give you a, a solid signal to the ECU because no matter what ECU you're using, you have to have the correct signal going to it, telling it you know, what's going on or else you're screwed basically. So this is fuel pump, crank, ang crank angle sensor, cam sensor, really. The crank angle sensor is gonna be separate now. The stock one has it both in here, where now we're gonna have cam angle and we're gonna have actually a crank trigger as well. Hyper I tune. Agree. Golly, that thing is sick. Isn't it awesome? Look yeah. at this. All billet runners. Yep, billet runners, plex. Was it like the matte style fuel rail? Yeah, this looks the good. Matte plenum, what you guys want it? Yes. 
billet throttle body. It almost has a little wrinkle. Yep. It does have a little wrinkle, which is perfect because that's kind of uh, what we're going with. Black throttle plate. Yep. Sweet. Yeah, so you can order this up in a multitude of right. configurations, really. You can have this red and this black or this red and that black and you know just the combinations are endless yeah i mean you can i mean you can see right here it has a place for extra injectors but those are blocked off yes yes so upgrade so, you know it's just drill these out put on our fuel rail with longer spacers and you run 12 if you have any and really that's when you're getting into the horsepower levels that uh jonathan is getting into with the 1400 horsepower and stuff because you can have a hard time uh, getting the idle right with six injectors, and what you can do is have six smaller injectors and run it, you know, at that for idle and cruise and so forth, and then have bigger injectors here for when you're going full throttle. Right, like an FD has. It has yes. the primaries and the secondaries. Correct, correct. The so secondaries kick in once it hits a certain RPM. Help you tune some. You know, so you can tune idle and cruise and lower RPM with uh, two different sets. But with the horsepower level we're going with, again, around 900, we should be fine with the six injectors. And it simplifies things and it's cost effective as well. So, but yeah, this is awesome. We're doing a drive-by cable. You can do drive-by wire here. Um, Jonathan, again, has a cable driven on his car right now, but thinking about maybe yeah. going um, drive, by drive by wire. And this is because you can do rolling anti-lag, yep. uh, um, traction, control. traction control, some different things, you know, you can do. But for our build, this is the route we decided to go. All right, what do we got here? We, so got, we got a coal kit, the R35 coal kit. R35 coal kit bracket yep. with coils. We have the coils and these are the stocks. custom stocks yep. made by PRP so that it fits perfect. Right. And are these also 370Z? Yep. So FX45s you can use as well. So the coil heads are the same. It's just the length of the stocks are different. So when you have these, you can, you can buy this is 370Z right. or R35. Yep. It's nice to say R35 because Everyone knows it sounds R35. better. Yeah. <laughs> So basically the stock coils, um, what kind of power level would you think stock coils are good to about if, six, 700? Uh, I think it, vary, it varies on a lot. It varies on how old they are, mm -hmm. the tune. Um, I mean, guys back in the days have, have made over a thousand with them. Right, um, but around six, seven, that's when you really need to think about. In my opinion, for, for optimal, optimal performance, yes. yes. Better tuning yeah. and whatnot, I think better like, emission, like, better maybe 550 600 horsepower is where you want to think about switching over to the prp coil pack and we kit. have we have guys that um stock motors switching over to our 35 mm -hmm. kits i mean i have to imagine it runs so much better it yeah. will yeah. yeah for sure and i mean it'll give you better gas mileage and probably 10 15 yeah. horsepower i would imagine at yep. full throttle just because you have more spark and then it will allow you also to run more boost. Yep. So, you know, it won't blow the spark out on the spark plugs. And if you so get an easily. aftermarket ECU, you can adjust the 12 settings, fine tune it a little bit better. Yeah. But um, they do work on the stock ECUs. We haven't had an issue with so guys running them. So this is a kit that you can buy and this has everything in it. All the hardware and everything, the yep. stocks. Here's the bracket. And then, okay. you got it? Okay. So these fit perfect and bolt in yep. perfectly with this bracket. And uh, like I say, take this off and put this stock on there. And we have a plug and play harness that bolts right up. Yeah. Keeps it simple. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. I mean, this is everything you need right here. So yeah. I like the fact that it comes with these, everything. You just order it and you don't have to like source it and be like, oh, did I get the right ones or anything like that. So that's pretty cool. What else we got here? CWC kit. So you can run a GM alternator. The GM yep. alternator, which will uh, give you more. 140 amps. 140 amps. Thank you. This is like a bracket here and a pulley and some hardware to mount everything up. 
and we got the all oil right. and coolant drain all in one. So this is goes on the back of the head and it will take care of the oil drain back yep. where you have a problem with too much oil staying at the top of the head and you know gets up there and especially at high RPMs um, and it's the just the design of the RB engine it doesn't drain back quite fast enough you'll put the uh, um, restrictor in yep, sure. okay you put a restrictor in there because you upgraded the oil pump okay now you're pumping more oil and it's even more going up towards the head and it sits up there it doesn't drain back enough now it starves your oil pan of oil and there's nothing there for the pickup and guess what you're running high rpm you know 9,000 rpm with no oil going to your engine guess what happens okay so this prevents that from happening and then you said this one it is also unique has because it has the coolant yep so you can actually run it um, out, out the coolant side run it back to a soil pot so you can relieve all that coolant on the back of the head and it should it should run cooler maybe five to ten degrees nice yeah. okay all right cool so this is I've never seen one of these before. So we're gonna um, install this also on Brad's car. It's the AC power steering bracket, the relocator. Okay, again, hardware comes with it and the brackets, everything you need to relocate the power steering. Right, yep, so the bell can fly off at, at, high, at high RPMs. Or okay. When you shift, the bell usually flies off. Right. Which has happened to me if you, three or four times. Okay, <laughs> and that's no fun. All right, so we got chassis spacers. So when you run RB30, the block's a little bit taller. So sometimes the hood hits your turbo. So we do, we, we have uh, spacers that go in between the subframe and the, and the chassis. This will actually lower the subframe. Nine millimeters, give or take. This much, and that's about how much more we'll RB30 uh, is, or the RB30 is actually bigger. Yeah, RB30 is way bigger, yeah. Like probably uh, 30 millimeters. Like 15 to 30, yeah. Higher than a RB26. Um, because naturally it's a longer stroke so the whole block is actually longer and taller I should right. say and so with I think our 33s it's not a problem not right, right problem. usually but 32s. 32s it has trouble with clearing the hood and so forth so nice alternator bracket yeah we used one of these before I believe yeah we have. 625 bolts for the rods oh cool Okay, so these are uh, pretty damn expensive actually, but this is uh, just an upgrade for the stroker kit because of the horsepower level we're going with and everything. Um, we just decided to upgrade to these bolts. They're just stronger. Yep. Haltec yep. Platinum Pro. I was gonna say, speaking of stronger bolts, yep. we got these bad daddies right here. So that's for the brace. I'm still waiting on the brace, but these are the half inch main studs for the brace. Okay. Yeah. All right. So we're waiting on the brace and the brace is the brace and uh, it incorporates integrated, integrated uh, the caps. The girdle and the main cap. So it's a main cap, Sick. it's a girdle, it's all in one. And with that, then the engine is going to have to be line board. Correct. Yep. Right? And, and you don't have to use the factory girdle anymore. Correct. You just delete that. That's, gone. Okay. That's yep. gone completely. I mean, you know, you've got the front diff here. I mean, it's integrated into the oil pan. Okay. And this will torque and actually crack the block itself, especially when we're talking about higher horsepower yep. levels. This is the main culprit of why the blocks crack. Because I've heard, you know, a lot of guys will run maybe in a GTST. 800 horsepower yeah. RBs and they don't have any problem because it's just rear wheel drive. We've had them cracked on stock cars. 400 horsepower. No, stock cars. Stock cars. We've, we had a stock car come in and it was leaking oil into the coolant. And we were like, what in the world's up with right. this? Pulled the head off of it and sure enough, right in between the galleys, it's cracking. Yeah, one was stock and the other one was a modified car, but not that heavily. No. It was like, again, 400 to the wheels and it had cracked the block. Right. So a lot of times you go to rebuild your RB26 and guess what? You got a cracked block. 
and it might not be showing up so much now but are you gonna build it you gonna put your pistons and rods and spend all this money on something that's cracked no you're gonna look for something else and like I said, the 05U block is in the Nissan Heritage program now, and they're not even sending them over to the United States anymore. Son of a bitches. Yep. <laughs> I mean, really, it just sucks. But that's why we went out and we bought six RB30 blocks because that's what we're gonna steer people towards. Way to go. You're gonna do it. You might as well go RB30. Yeah, I mean, just the torque from the 30 is crazy. That yeah. the blue R33 GTST we had with the 30 bottom end. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I mean, it it had a bigger turbo on it and it wasn't laggy. It just smooth. Right. Because That's it had the, the more torque. Yeah, and it just has. Uh, it's a bigger engine. Yeah. You know, I mean, this is a 26, and this one still is a 26. Um, you can get a stroker kit for well, 26. This is the last new block that we bought. This is the last new block we bought, and we cannot find them anymore from anybody that has them. There was a, a company that had six or seven, and someone bought all of them. A, another shop, another performance shop, just was like, you know, they were smart, I gotta say, and they went and bought all those blocks from them, and uh, people, you can't find them. So. But you know, RB26, it's 2.6. We're gonna go 3.2. I mean, you're increasing the engine size, like, you know, dramatically, really. So it's just the way to go. But that's the, the brace, and you said we're waiting on that yep. still. Wait on um, brace. Is that the only that's other That's the only thing, yeah. Part? Okay. Everything else there? Okay, cool. Awesome, man. Sweet. Yeah. Well, awesome. So we're excited. Uh, we're going to be uh, listing all of PRP products, Nitto, Hypertune. We're going to be listing it on our website. We can get it right now. So, you know, contact us for pricing. But uh, over the next couple months, we're going to get all their products listed on our website for sale. And you can buy it on there. So look for that.